What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Fallout 4, where you and I will be going on a little journey to do some detective work. I think we've got to talk to the local sleuth, the gumshoe, whoever it is around here. Why are they called a gumshoe? Is it just because they walked around investigating things and they always stepped in gum? I got an uncanny supernatural ability to step in gum. That would suck. I hate it when I step in gum. Like when you're walking through the city and all of a sudden you feel it and you're just like, No! Why? No! I think... This is our guy right here. So straight through the door we shall go! Welcome all back to Fallout 4, everybody. See, I normally stop talking when we go through load screens because sometimes they're... Sometimes they're absurdly long, and then I just gotta edit them out anyways. And so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna lose all the words that I throw out here anyway, so why worry about it? She doesn't seem like a detective. She seemed kind of crazy. Either way. Maybe she's crazy and useful. I don't mind crazy as long as like a helpful kind of crazy. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. This is important. I think we should probably use this one right here. It might allow us to bypass like an entire storyline arc. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Ah, I knew there was... Missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'm not gonna ask for him, but a dick move. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get-up. Please, hurry. Okay, well we made it to Diamond City and it looks like we have a little bit of a clue as to what we should be doing next. Am I allowed to take things out of here? No, this house is off limits. That's perfectly fine by me, but I always check because sometimes when you make friends with people, you're allowed to loot their entire house, so... Friendship! Yay! Alright, so while we're here, I don't know if there's like any useful tasks or anything like that that we want to undertake. My knee? Oh my god. I've been doing the exercise bike lately because I got a leg injury which has precluded me from being able to properly run. And so I've been spacing it out and only running every couple days now. And I started doing an exercise bike and some other stuff instead for cardio. My knee is killing me though. I, did, I went stand up on the bike for like 10 minutes. Just like went all out on it and just kind of... I. I do that when I work out. I have this weird ten I overdo it every single time. Like, there's no such thing as, like, 50% for me. I only have 0 and 100%. The switch only goes in two directions. And so I tend to end up with injuries a lot. I... It's also because I get lazy and my technique gets sloppy. That's the other thing you have to be, like, real careful about. Complacency. Complacency about technique. That's a great way to get yourself injured. So where are we headed to right now? If I could fast travel out that way... I would much rather. So we got the Minutemen over there. Where's that quest at? Diamond City Blues. Ambush Nelson Latimer's chem deal. Oh yeah, I forgot we were even working on that. So apparently there was a chem deal going on here in town. We can also look for Nick Valentine though. And I think I'd like to stick... Oh. Over in the combat zone. I've been over there. Okay then, let's get going. And as I was saying... Technique gets sloppy is really what it comes down to. You get complacent. So what happened to me? I'd be willing to bet. Went too hard when I wasn't properly warmed up yet. Or when I was doing some kind of lift or something. Did it at slightly the wrong angle because I was just trying to get it done so I could go home and eat dinner. All that kind of stuff. It's problematic. It is problematic. And you got to keep your eye on it. Otherwise, shit happens. Okay, so there's a bunch of mannequins in the middle of the street. That's a little bit creepy in kind of a Silent Hill type way. What sort of weaponry am I rocking right now? I don't really know. You'll have to forgive me. I say this during the streams, too, is like I forget what character I'm playing because I have like four playthroughs going right now. And so I gotta like physically look at the weaponry that I'm wielding. Yeah, I don't trust this. Something's fitting to go wrong right here. Or poorly fitting to go wrong. It just, it doesn't matter. The fitting doesn't matter. The pants are still going to suck to wear. 
I... Then I've got her with me, and she's no good. Probably should go back and get a better companion, but you know what? We're on the job right now, and in the interest of altruism and niceness, I figure I'll bring her and try and get some brownie points or something. Because, you know, I do like brownies. Every now and again, you just need some extra points so you can buy more brownies. Oh, he's up in the window. Okay. And this is not my stealth character. So we might have some light issues. There we go. Drop him real quick. No, I don't think he could have backed down because I started shooting the moment he turned. But he did raise a pistol at me. That's the thing, is that he raised a gun at me. And what's my rule, kids? If you raise a gun at somebody... You don't get the right to surrender. It is what it is. Let's see here. We got 38 rounds. Stim pack. I told you guys. Ooh. It's got a chest piece. I wonder if she wants to wear better gear. So leather right leg, metal left leg, right arm left arm leathers. That's at least something to get her stats a tiny bit higher and make her a little bit better for us. So you there, right. madam. What you got for me? I've got a whole new set of clothes because I can't. Oh, she's already got road leathers. Oh shit, I took her road leathers. No, I'm always stealing things that I shouldn't be stealing. It is a metal left leg, metal right arm. I doubt that she's built for stealth. I mean, she might be because she's a reporter, so I can give her all like leather gear or something like that. But since I'm mostly just gonna run, she's gotta match up with the bandana. That's necessary right there. So everybody gotta have a red bandana in this crew. That's the way that it goes. I don't make the rules, but I enforce them. Let's see, and what else do I have here? You know what? I could do it like this. I can sort things everywhere. We got a leather right leg. So left leg, right leg, right arm. I need a left arm. So I got a leather left arm right there. I think that's the only one that I got, though. So she'll have to take that. Oh, I've got the camo bandana on right now? Oh, well, I thought I had the... Man, I thought I was bicking it with the red bandana. This sucks. All right, All right well, apparently she's going to be banging for a little while. Except that I'm going to take the bandana back and hit the wrong key. So the road leathers. Right arm. Left leg. Left arm. Right leg. So she's looking a little bit more resilient now. I definitely think if I could get her a helmet or something like that, that'd be fantastic. Oh, do I have an extra combat helmet? I know I'm always carrying around like a hundred of those stupid things. Is that my army helmet right there? What am I wearing? An Ushanka? Okay, so give her the Ushaka. Put your combat helmet back on. You never take off your helmet in the middle of a war zone. You saw that guy in Saving Private Ryan. Everybody saw that guy. I learned that lesson when I was like 14. I was like, mm-hmm, he took his helmet off. That was the sign right there. Cinema Cinematographically, that was the worst moment. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm going to use it anyways. That was the worst possible moment that he could have, like, taken off his hat, and he did it anyways. That's what happens. Don't take off your hat. So red bandana, Ushaka hat. Sweet. Now we're looking way cooler. There's probably somebody else around here that needs to be murdered. And I'm almost out of bullets. Wow. What did I do in the previous episode where I have, like, no bullets? Oh, look, there's some modern art over here. Never been a big fan of kind of, like, the modern, let's be, super thaw antifreeze. I don't know if that's, like, better than normal antifreeze, but you know what? I'm going to take it with me. It's the freeze for your ante. Whenever I look into the center of the city, my game lags out. I don't know what it is. Like, I can do anything else in the game, but the second I look, like, west into the city, or if I'm on the east side of the city, or I'm sorry, if I'm on the west side and I look east in, I get lagged out. It's like it's trying to draw the entire city at once. Hubris Comics. Uh, is there anybody in here? Where are they at? They inside this building, this Batman-looking building over here. Oh, shit. Okay, so they got turrets. Oh, and they got mines. Yeah, Piper ain't gonna make it out of that one. Piper's got the... Oh, she takes cover. That's pretty cool. Good for her. You're getting wasted? You shouldn't do that in the middle of combat. You're gonna need all your mental faculties. Oh, up there. Okay. I'm trying to clean the city out, but... Oh, uh, balls. Unfortunately, some of these guys have some serious HP. I found a guy the other day who gave me 200 XP when I killed him. 160-something. That's 200 of me. I just round up. That's why I'm bad at maths. 
Well, I do think that I'm different because I pull up to the scene with my ceiling missing. Pull up to the scene with my roof gone. Ah, Molotov spamming little bastards. All right, so since we're dealing with Molotov spam here, let's go ahead and throw up a little bit more health. And if that's the game that we're playing... Oh, God damn it, Piper. How did that hit her? God, you gotta be kidding me with this shit. The collision on grenades is really odd in this game. It's one of the overlooked points in the reviews and whatnot that I've noticed. There goes another one. He's gonna sit and spam grenades all day long. Ugh. The AI has infinite grenades. In case you wonder why they do that, the AI is actually hacked and has infinite grenades. And so, oh, there's a legendary raider in there too. I don't know if it was that pipe that done it. Might be out of our league right now. Might be out of our league considering how low I am on ammo. Uh, mutant hound chops, but that's about all I got left. No, I got some mutt chops in there. That's not too bad. This little walkway, though, is getting us in trouble because they've got it covered and there's no way for us to move around. If I could swing around this way, we might have a chance, but I gotta pick off one or two of them and I need a larger alleyway than they have currently decided to gift me with. Other side's chained up. Ah. Okay, let's try and go around the back then. There you go. Okay, so there's another one down. If your initial tactic isn't working, it's never too terrible of a plan. That one's chained too. Shit. Man, they really, really just like force you to come through that hallway over there, don't they? Alright. Well, we got rid of one or two of them. I mean, I could try and fire a couple more rounds through the window back here and see if maybe we can get rid of a couple of problems. Shit. Go ahead and let him have it real fast. When in doubt, grenade the shit out of him. And that is my general purpose rule for Fallout 4. When in doubt, grenade like crazy and climb through the window like some kind of serial killer. Alright, so we got bottle caps, 38s, Molotov stim packs looking good. A cushioned boiled leather right leg. Alright. This guy has an instigating double barrel shotgun. Does double damage if the target is at full health. Oh shit, that's pretty good. Especially if you're in stealth. That's the gun right there for someone that likes to attack from stealth. A marksman's hardened automatic pipe rifle. Okay. A Boston Bugle over there. You know, I'm really just going to kind of have to sort out. We've got Shenley's Oyster Bar. Is that a real thing, an oyster bar? Like, do you drink while eating oysters? Or, like, what's the specifics here? On the oyster bar. Oh, there's a dead guy suspended all up crazy like yoga style. Except instead of, you know, those fluffy little sheety things, he's got gnarly chains dug into his feet. You know, yoga's gotten more hardcore in the future. Things have gotten a little bit more mean-spirited. Lots of dead heads on sticks. One can only assume that that means this is a no Jerry Garcia area. Grab those circuit boards. We'll go in this way. And that means that they've definitely got to die. Since we're point blank in here. Yup. If we're going to be point blanking, I'm going to be that guy for a second. Although you got to question, how many legendary raiders can they fit inside one of these places? The safe crackers, leather right leg. Well, there's one thing I enjoy is being safe and a cracker, so we'll grab that over there. I think... I don't see anything that's looking too appetizing in here. We'll go through the loot a little bit later, but I do want the aluminum cans for upgrades and things like that. Maybe scrap out some of these guns, too. Nobody up there. Is there anything under the stairs? You should always check under the stairs. The developers love to hide shit under stairs. Whoever at, like did the map design for this game and like all the random object placement had way too much fun. Dadder was just way too bored. I'm not really sure. I'm going to save right here just in case. They like to jump you when you come through doors and it drives me crazy.
I'm not trying to get murdered right now. And I know there's one left on the roof that I haven't gotten yet. Did you go to bed? I murdered everybody you knew and you just went to bed. You're like, ah, well, it's the apocalypse, you know. Good day, bad day. Not a huge variation here. So he's got raider leggings on, although he's got a metal right leg. What do you have? A metal right leg and a metal left, or, you know, you got a metal left leg. So actually, let me take his right leg then. Take the right leg. And we'll just slowly upgrade her to metal gear as we pick it up. We'll get our solid snake on when it comes to her equipment. Alright. So, I needed the... Is that better than the right arm she has? It is. So give her that. On top of that, I heard that you can command them to open safes and stuff like that too. Like if you spend a little bit of time playing the game. I haven't done it yet though. She's got the right leg. Let's go ahead and have her use the right leg real fast. And then she's going to use the other arm. I like how there's slight variations in the colors of stuff you pick up. And once we get her into like full ridiculous metal gear, we should be alright. I wonder if there's anything useful on that dead guy right there on top of that. This is a terrible idea, but I want to find out. Oh, there's not. Now I'm disappointed. I'm actually really surprised I made that jump. You know, if I could avoid, like, having to zone through things and just jump down to here, that'd be fantastic. Way better. I didn't want to go through that place anyways. Take too long. Oh, there's another dead guy over here. That's what he gets for trying to mess with the splatter. Mess with the splatter. Make your brain scatter. Break down your self-esteem with words that clatter. Uh... Couple of things in there, but nothing that I really want. The frag grenades are way better, by the way. Well, thanks for letting me know before I took the mission. People don't come back from here. The swan's pawn. Oh, look at that radiation. Who doesn't love being irradiated? Couldn't have asked for a better gift from the universe. Please, universe, come and irradiate me. Why is there so much nuclear waste in the middle of the commons? Doesn't seem like the proper receptacle for disposal. Scissors in there. Park Street Station. I don't suppose there's any other entryways or if this is all they gave us. What is this over here? Couple of dead folks. Watch out for mines. Those might be ghouls, though. Yeah, they are. More raiders up on the roof, I think. Another subway token. I keep picking them up because I don't know what they do. I know at some point it's going to be like the book quest in the first game or the overdue book quest where they're like, you need to have like 900 of these so that you can be happy and accomplish things. And I'll be like, no! And I'll be all upset about it. Yeah, for whatever reason, when I'm in a city, the game gets really, really laggy for me. Which is odd, because it only happens on this computer. It doesn't happen on my laptop, which is, coincidentally, a lot weaker than this computer. So I don't know. Let's see if we can find Nick. Bring him back to the land of the living. A.K.A. Diamond City, I guess, for right now. Take him off to see the wizard. We're off to see the wizard. Let's see what we've got here. Cool it, Cap. It gives free aluminum. I'll take it. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Who? Wow! There's a whole bunch of aren't there? Yes, indeed, there are. Best way to get this done is to hope that they ain't got no grenades or nothing. Because I got grenades, and I ain't afraid to use them. Look like they got stim packs, though. For all that they don't have, they definitely have stim packs, because he's healing. They also give way a lot faster than the enemy mobs normally do. These guys are they're retreating and displacing a lot more aggressively. 
Got him. A little bit tougher, too. Oh, I got a drum mag on this? Oh, well, why am I reloading, then? The trigger man. Took him on out. You ever notice how nobody in this game has, like, a Boston accent at all? Like, everybody in this game just has, like, a generic Midwestern thing going on. Uh, I think we're good right there. I don't want any of that. I might give her a better weapon, but for the moment... Oh, overdue book. Gotta pick that up for the library. Got 10 millimeter rounds over here. 10 of them, coincidentally, if I was reading my numbers correctly. I probably wasn't. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Fire the gun. There's nobody else here. If you fire the gun, it marks them on your map, and so I do it all the time. It's kind of like a little sonar for bad guys. Yeah, I had a feeling. So apparently that was... Oh, look at that. I wonder, was that the booby trap right there? Like, what's going on? I don't want to think that they, like, made the bathrooms. You have to pay a toll to use the... That's a little too vicious for me. That's ice cold right there. Make people pay a penalty to use the bathroom. 25 cents a shit yourself. I'm like, whoa. Man, the future was a hard place. It appears to me as though the libertarians won. I gotta pay to take a dookie now. I'm like, man. The world is a harsh place. If you want a shit, you better work harder. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Oh, she likes it when I so she doesn't like it when I extort people, but she loves it when I burglarize. Gotcha. I do know my way around a bobby pin. Spent entirely too much time watching Bobby's World when I was a kid, and this is what the fundamental skills they taught you in that show actually were. People thought it was about Howie Mandel, but in reality, it was mostly just lockpicking and burglary tips. Nope, don't want any of that. We did get some valuable 44 rounds, though. 44 rounds don't come around very often. And once you get the 44 snubby, you're going to want to use it. Believe you me. What's on the terminal? Purchase tickets? Function terminated. Terminal vending machines have been shut down. Okay, so... Notice, the purchasing of subway tokens for this station will automatically cease on 2 to coincide with the station closing. Any questions should be addressed to the station manager or vault Tech representative before your employment termination date. Again, Park Street terminals will cease to validate token dispensations after this date. Previously issued tokens remain usable at all other Boston subway and monorail service platforms. Thank you. I hate it when they randomly thank you and things like, why? Just leave it there. Dear Employee ID, I regret to inform you that your station street will be closing to a purchase agreement with vault -Tec Corporation. As such, we go through our records and redistribute our many value employees to other stations and departments. The automated system should identify your new location. You have been relocated to Employee Terminated. Oh, that's the worst day ever, when you get to work and they terminate you. Oh, that happened to me one time. What's weird is they let me work my entire shift, too, you little bastards. Oh, I was so mad about it. They got me at the end of the day, like 10 minutes before my shift ended. I was like, you guys are pieces of shit. Because they knew I'd walk out if they did at the beginning of the day. I'd be like, alright, then I'm not finishing my shift. I'll see y'all later. Aw, oh, little bastards. And I didn't know either. It came out of the blue. Like, I'd had no... i had had no disciplinary actions or anything. Just up out of the blue one day, they pink slipped me. And I was like, oh. Okay. I was pretty mad about it. There's a bomb on the wall right here. Cool. I was pretty mad about it, though. I suffice it to say I lost my shit. It sucks putting that many years of your life into something and they take it from you like overnight. Is there anybody else around? Looks like we got a couple more guys down here. I think we're just oh yeah, we got a bunch of these little assholes down in here, don't we? Is that a mannequin or is that a human? I can't I think it's a human. I think I see breathing. Oh, there's one down. There's a legendary trigger man. I think I'm about to break out the real firearm here, otherwise this is going to be an ugly day. Also, if I could aim good, that'd be fantastic. He's going to mutate, which means that he gets all his health back eventually. Man. Look at you, Equilibrium. This dude running up in here like he has no regard for bullets, just machine gunning point blank to the face. That's what happens when the HP pools of the AI are too much. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's pretty... I need you to fall over right now. They're landing shots on me, but I ain't afraid.
These guys are a bunch of bums. Ah, I hate the collision on grenades so much. What did that hit? What was in front of me? Please tell me what was it? Was it that right there? Because it looked like it hit that pillar on the left. Ugh. You better retreat. I'm in cover. I'm coming right at you. That's right. I'm going to play the game just like the AI does. How do you feel about that? Uh huh. I'm applying for a new job at Bethesda as an NPC. Who's left? We get them all? We'll know when Piper gets back up. Here. There you go. I stab you in the boob with a stim pack, and now you join my forces. Cavalier Raider left leg. Reduces damage while blocking or sprinting by 15%. That's not terrible, actually. Some of the little modif like the little modification abilities are actually pretty good. But I think we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here. Are they a... Are they a ghoul mafia? I just noticed that. I'll see you on the next episode of Fallout 4. I do, everybody.